So between AI literally taking over your subconscious and your brain and all of the election chaos, i.e. Mike Pence, like where do you even get off thinking you have a shot, my dude? (laughs) No offense. And also, you know, no big deal, but New York City being aflame, like it is the set of a sexy fireman photo shoot. I say with all of this chaos, we just get back to basics, people. And by basics, I literally mean the birthday suit that God or the higher power you believe in gave you. That's right. We are literally getting back to basics when you look at something as crazy as Instagram. My question for you today and that we are going to be exploring is why, oh, why is everybody getting naked on Instagram? It is the phenomenon of our time. Like it is the pandemic that we didn't know that we needed, but don't let Dr. Fauci get wind of it because pretty soon he is going to have a vaccine for hot 50 year olds in bikinis. Okay. So let's just keep this between, between us, but seriously, what is this trend? And I have to tell you today, a couple things, right off the bat, Uh, The big picture of it, you know, and we're going to, it's all going to come around in the end, but it's interesting because I feel like when it comes to this, I have actually come personally a little bit of ways. I mean, when I first started my show, I talked a lot with you guys and with guests about everybody just feeling the need to show at like pull a Kim K a la Ray J era and show every nook and cranny this side of the blaze of the sun, you know, what have you. Um, And the idea of it being ruining that sort of celebrity allure and mystique that made, you know, Hollywood and icons so legendary and so mysterious and so unattainable and how now everything has become almost too over the top and shameless, right? But I have a little bit when it comes to this and particularly with one genre, I'm talking to you, to the Marthas, or I've come a little bit of ways and I have a little bit of a change of tune in it all. And again, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's just the the nature of it and, you know, growth, you know, <laughs> am I right? Again, not knowing really what it actually is. I'm thinking to myself, is it just because people are tired of being pent up in their basements, you know, in solitary confinement, like paying stuff out to you that people are just throwing caution to the wind and they just want to be liberated and they want to be free. What actually is going on here? Well, let's explore it a little bit, shall we? I mean, we've got time to kill. It's you and me, baby, you know, and we're in this together. So the first sort of bucket of this that I noticed that really stood out to me is older women in particular. At first, I saw people like Elizabeth Hurley, who is 57. And this bitch is crushing it. Like, I'm in there analyzing. I am zooming in. I have carpal tunnel from the zoom-ins. I'm like, are her tits real? They're so bouncy. Look at her body. 57, this lady. In a string bikini, it is everywhere. And then I noticed it more and more and more. And of course, we're going to get to the criticism and the backlash, right? But then I see Heidi Klum at this big fancy, I think this red carpet in can, right? And she has this under boob moment in this gown. And I'm thinking, in what world? You know, like celebs have gotten a little more risque on the red carpet, but this is like, this is border. This is coming from me, okay? I'm like, one slip of the wind, one wrong stall of that yacht, and those titties are going to be out like a Pornhub moment that you have never seen. Like, I'm talking, we're seeing the under shape. We're seeing almost the texture. Like, those bouncy boobs are all up in our grill. I even saw a little bit of a nipple. And... This even goes, right? So again, we're seeing it with Elizabeth Hurley. And the bathing suit thing with Elizabeth Hurley, this has been a thing for a couple of years because she has a bathing suit line. So she likes to flaunt it. And this is just Liz's thing, you know? So Heidi Klum on the carpet, right? We even have, I mean, iconic and legendary, but 81-year-old Martha Stewart in a bathing suit in this year's Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. And I addressed this at the time when the edition came out. And again, You would think because Sports Illustrated has, you know, gotten in on the diversity quota inclusion, like, 
you know, arithmetic of it all and <laughs> trying to fit everybody in, right? So you would think that I'd be like, okay, this is just them plugging a quota, like being their wokest selves. And I have to say, with the Martha of it all, like, again, if this ain't me, I will break this mug across someone's head. Like, I want that to be me. She is looking bomb. She is looking fire. We're going to get into criticisms that she got and which how she addressed them too and why she's looking so good and why it's so important about the bigger picture that I have, uh, what I'm taking away from all this and the conclusion today, right? Some others, let me throw at you really quick. We have Pink, 43 years old. I mean, again, we know that she is like, the Ringley brothers acrobat that unfortunately she just missed her timeline on that. Like when they were still hopping and bopping all over the USA, but she obviously is crushing. It takes such good care of herself is ripped as shit again, could like probably take you out in a flick. And she posted a straight up nude photo head to toe and her little titties and her little PP are covered with an emoji, right? So really out here being shameless. Halle Berry, same thing. She posts a photo on a balcony drinking wine. And my favorite, she's 56. And the caption is, I do what I want. And this goes into what I was saying earlier, right? It's like, again, have people just had it with being told to live in the constraints of all of these little restrictions, whether it be socially whether it be literally, again, not being able to have human contact, right? Thank you to the pandemic. Thank you to AI. Thank you to all of us, all of you destroying our lives and just really breaking out and just being like, forget it, I've had it, right? And also not to be confused with the other end of this spectrum, which we're going to touch on today, which is again, you know, accept me in all that I am. And if you say so much as anything, you're a phobe of whatever it is under the sun, right? Like not to be confused with that other shamelessness and that extreme of it, right? Um, Kate Hudson, 44, same thing. She posts an Instagram front and back and the front, we're seeing the titties again, the little emojis over the nipples, bikini shot in the back, we're seeing her whole ass. You know what I mean? It's like how to lose a swimsuit cover in 10 days. And it's all right there. And oh, of course, how could I forget? But my queen Padma Lakshmi also uh, uh, in this year's Sports Illustrated uh, swimsuit edition 52 and just looking like mother earth, like have mercy on us to this goddess, because it is just like, again, like the body of that 52 year old and the tits and they still have like a roundness and a bounce and her booty and just like oh the whole thing like lord give me strength right and the thing with Padma little sidebar that's just so epic and like needs to be my life or I'll flip this table I don't know why I'm feeling particularly violent today perhaps because I'm just so passionate about this is her really jack of all trades persona and what she's built right she is an activist host taste the nation is a fire intellectual and is a businesswoman and here she is looking like a goddamn queen in sports illustrated like oh, i'm sweating just thinking about it right so this has even moved over i mean this may be a one-off this may be a one-off but this feeling of being free has even perpetuated and seeped over to the dudes i'm talking to you jason momoa jason momoa is out here posting a video with his full-blown ass cheeks out here giving any pride parade a run for its money like i am out i am here i am in your face and i may or may not be bouncing on it too right but also this is i feel just jason momoa's personality I interviewed Jason on the set, like me and Jay, you know, Jay and I go way back. I interviewed Jason on the set of Aquaman in Australia. And he just sort of has this kind of like hippie do what I want personality. You know, like we're sitting down with Amber Heard as co-star. And again, it's like all the chaos of like the publicists and, you know, the people on set and the crew and the producers and the people running the lunch and the whole thing. And here's Jason Momoa shirtless serenading us with an acoustic guitar just being like yeah I see you guys are trying to do your little interview but let me just give Magic Mike a run for his money and serenade you all right now so but either way the people are out there they're here to be seen they're here to be seen in their 40s plus and um I'm gonna explain you know why I'm here for the whole moment so but there are critics of course you know because everyone's got something to say about something like reel it back we did not ask okay 
Uh, a lot of the, the criticisms that the women are getting is what you would expect, right? You know, I'm disappointed. You're a mom. This is inappropriate. And, you know, you're another celebrity just shamelessly seeking validation, putting every little thing on display. You know, we get it. It's just sad, yada, yada, yada. Which notice how someone like a Jason Momoa doesn't get any of this flack. Why you ask? Well, hang on to your little hats, I say. But it's the most bizarre thing. When you see critics say, oh, they're older, they shouldn't be posting this. It's like, why? Why shouldn't they? Why? It should just be reserved for young women. In fact, I actually feel like it should be the opposite, right? Because of the rampant sexualization of young women all the time, everywhere on Instagram. But I'll say, it's just fascinating to watch. I mean, who would have thought these, you know, mysterious Hollywood figures would just be showing it all all the time and it actually inspires me inspires me in a way because i posted a nude photo that i'm going to talk about um that had sort of an activism element to it and i thought to myself for, before posting it is this going to risk my professionalism how will it look and i'm thinking to myself in the climate this is not the, the what the industry used to be it's like everybody halle berry Kate Hudson, everybody's doing it. Like it's everywhere. And again, what is it? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know if I know. And what I'm saying today is actually, it's going to seem like it's a little bit not on brand because it's going to seem like I'm on the PC train of like, yeah, screw you ages. But that's actually not what I'm getting at. I'm actually getting at something that's contrary to their whole tirade, right? About body positivity. This is coming from an actually genuine place. Um, not like these people because they're paid to, to say this by their editors, right? So an example of this, perfectly on time, is in Vogue. And when they look at all this, Padma Lakshmi, right, Martha Stewart, they say something to the effect of systemic ageism on screen and in Hollywood, particularly when it comes to women and our youth-obsessed culture, causes women to peak in their 20s and 30s while men continue aging with a longer lease on life in their 50s. Now, this is where the PC police are going to put a warrant out for my arrest because they ain't going to like what I'm about to say here. See what I mean? Like, you never know where we're going to go. Um, there is truth in that, right? Like, let's look at the first facet of that. There is truth in that, in the biology of it. You know, as much as people hate that word, as much as students are getting flunked, for using the B word, not bitch, biology, but what have you, you know, as my, much as those textbooks are ablaze like New York City, but there is a sense of, and a reality of older men being attracted attractive to women and to young women. You know, we got that salt and pepper. We got that wisdom. We got that, you know, we grew out of our video game and our PJs till 2 p.m. in our mom's basement era. You know what I'm saying? Like we're moving on up in the world. That's super hot. And to men, the biology of it to where young women and the vitality and the freshness and the youth and the let me procreate and spread my seed of it all and spread the seed on you of it all, not to be too graphic, element of that. There's a truth in that, right? But let's also, like, so I'm just gonna say, there, there is a truth in that. However, I feel like let's give credit where credit is due to where we've moved so far from keeping that cyclical nature in Hollywood of where, only women in their 20s and 30s can thrive. You know, that is not the case. Um, especially with someone like a Padma Lakshmi, who was walking runways in her 20s and 30s, is finally invited to be on Sports Illustrated in her 50s. And instead of having a grudge or resenting it, she's like, actually, it was perfect timing, right on order, right as scheduled, a la Grub Hub today, because I wouldn't have had it any other way. I can actually appreciate it now. And, and actually show off the woman that I am now inside and out, right? So on the other side of that coin though, is in people, it's it's weird. Our society is, I mean, we know this, like our society is getting real weird. And I think what's so bizarre to me about this whole thing is that the same people applauding this, like the Vogue's spotlighting and showcasing older women and their bodies, you know, breaking out of those old male gaze, beauty standards of what a woman should be, 
are the same people who argue that image and appearance, well, they just don't really matter. It's like, well, which is it? Hence the body, body, you know, body positivity, take me exactly as I am, or you're a woman phobe, a fat phobe, whatever it is, right? So it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter at all. What I'm trying to say is it does matter. Physical appearance and our presentation to the world it is the first thing that we see. And for better or worse, I mean, hello, screen actors, Hollywood, baby. It's a visual business. It's what we're seeing. And it has extreme power. And I don't think that we serve ourselves or do any credit by acting like, oh, it shouldn't matter, right? Because it does. It absolutely does matter. Now, a little sidebar is the best thing is when you can bring the power of the potential of that, you know, maximum physicality and body and the intellectual side of it, right? And your brains and your intelligence and, and the strength of your mind and bringing all of them together, a la Padma Lakshmi, a la Operation Sex Goddess Body, which by the way, I'm prepping my episode for that at last. So if you guys have any questions about it, please let me know because I can't wait to dive into all that with you. But back to what I was saying about the power of visuals, right? Is that Either way, men or women, yes. Do women get it more? Yes. However, men get it too. Men get scrutinized too. Let's not forget when Zach Efron pulled a metaverse, pulled an avatar, changed his entire face, short of basically the color, and said that basically he fell down the stairs or something like that, that he got in an accident when we all know there was a Botox happy sitch gone wrong in that moment. You know, people were scrutinizing that, like, what happened to Zac Efron's face? What's going on here? Again, people, visuals, scrutiny. It's the first thing we see. It's human nature. We want to know. Let's not forget Chris Pratt's glow up, right? Chris Pratt from being like the chubby, funny guy on Parks and Rec to this ripped Avenger, okay? <laughs> that nobody can seem to forget, nor should we, no matter how much shit he gets for everything else. I'm also surprised, and I'm sure he probably has gotten shit for his body transformation because that's another reason our society makes no sense because we are in the era of like, I don't have to do anything and accept it too bad. It's almost like shaming, bettering yourself or working toward a goal or being motivated to like, Again, get to your potential and get dedicated, be dedicated and that like, but also in thinking about all of this, right, is the, the, something I've been diving into a lot lately is that idea of the Madonna whore complex, right? So the idea of like women or even older women in, in the case of these ladies, you know, why is there this prudish thing, right? Again, Jason Momoa does it and everyone is unanimous in applauding. This is hot. This is great, whatever. And with women, it's all kinds of mixed emotions. Yeah, you go girl all the way to your disappointment, right? And I think it goes all the way back to, again, that Madonna whore complex, like trying to fit women in a box to contain them, right? Because they know that unleashed, the power is like the smoke show in New York City that you have never seen, literally. Like you thought right now, you actually thought. But it's this thing of like how women have always had to be like cherished and it's either like they're cherished and delicate and they're the ones in the homes and and the ones to be protected, right? Or you're the whore. You're the one that the men would cheat on the Madonna wife with and then discard it and that's all you're good for and you're not good for anything else, right? It's like those two kind of buckets. And I think with this, it's that it's that idea and that has seeped into our modern life, I think. And that's why women are, and I've said it in one of my episodes, I think even around all the trans stuff, it's like, why are all these conversations always around women? Like scrutinizing, nitpicking, putting it in boxes. And I think it's because of this very thing. It's like our society has to wrap our head around all of the facet facets and all the things that women could be, right? Like even I thought about it, like Brad Pitt and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, same thing in his fifties, takes a shirt off in the scene and is looking ripped and hot and no one has a second glance. I mean, we do have a second glance to like get ourselves off because it's the best thing that we've seen, you know, this side of 1999, but you know what I'm saying? Like no one criticizes it or gives it a second thought. And I think that that's really the root of it. Right. And, and the idea of women now 
because of all these years of like being scrutinized for better or worse, you know, being the Madonna, being the whore, being this, being that dress like this dress like that. It's kind of like, well, fuck it. Like I'm going to take it into my own hands and reclaim that power. Right. And I think that there's real strength in that. And, you know, one of the things, and this is where people have to wrap their tiny little pea brains around this, because one of the criticisms I saw on one of these posts here with one of these women, it said, Something to the effect of, you know, it's disappointing because showing your body, it's superficial, it's vanity, whereas your mind is value and it's strength that no one can take away from you. And to that, again, I say, number one, read my Playboy feature about all of this. And number two, stay tuned for Operation Sex Goddess Body because you're living in a small little world. And again, last kind of button on this, but the idea, I think it was in that same Vogue, Vogue article, but the idea of, you know, we're in this like pursuit of perfection and why PC people would love what these women are doing so much is because they love to say like, it's so bold and brave to show, you know, your cellulite, your rolls, your dimples, your this, your that. Yeah, like you woman at this age, your scars, like show it all, right? But to me, it's actually the opposite. It's like, these women actually obviously take really fucking great care of themselves. And that is not something to be overlooked. Like let's hype that up, right? Let's strive for that. And again, in the climate where this pursuit of perfection, we've gone the other way, the pendulum has swung the other way and that, and the anti that, right. Is the, the sweeping, you know, positivity, acceptance, all this. Like I even saw a clip the other day of a black hockey player and he makes a joke about Lizzo. He's like, Oh, someone better bring a Lizzo size lunch, right? Number one, it's a joke, but number two, they called it black on black racism. It's like, Okay, so we can't even make a joke about, again, someone's appearance and you're racist, you're anti-woman, you're whatever it is, right, because of this. So let's get a little bit back to center and to reality on that. Um, and so my final button on this with these women is, you know, I love it. I think that it's absolutely fire. And in fact, you know, when I talk about earlier on the introspective journey of looking all all the women who are young and naked on Instagram and all this it's coming from someone who literally just put their entire body on Instagram. Don't worry. I'm getting to that in the final shebang. I think that it almost like a fine wine, the way it ages. It's like, I almost like seeing it with these women who are like stepped into their power than the younger girls. And part of me thinks, is that hypocritical? You were in Playboy when you were what, 25, 26. And it was like the, arguably the best day of my life. It was like the highlight of my life. Granted, it had a deeper message and was a, law, a labor of love and an endeavor I'd worked on for a while about, you know, the mind and body coming together. But sometimes I think about that. It's like, you know, is it wasted on young girls because it's like, just wait, just hold off till you can appreciate it until we can appreciate it, right? More on that in a bit. So someone else who was showing their bod is Lily Rose Depp in the HBO show, The Idol. And it's from the creator of Euphoria and it's gotten a lot of flack for gratuitous over the top sexuality sex scenes. They've said it's been, you know, like torture porn, again, gratuitous and really trying to call it out. Even members like female members of the show have left and walked out being like, this is an appropriate and this isn't acceptable. But what have you? Lily Rose Depp herself, in these scenes herself, a young actress herself, applauding them, saying not only does it explore this, she plays this like pop star character, right? Not only does it explore this pop star character and allowed us to go there and explore and explore too, the, again, let's not brush it under the rug, the real life nature of sex in pop culture, porn, all of it, you know, with pop stars and in the music industry and entertainment, like it's real. But she also goes so far as to say that the director who got all this flack and backlash was the best she's ever worked with. And that he's created an environment where they could be seen and heard and appreciated. And I just thought how ironic it's like our society wants so badly for women to be victims, even if they're like, I'm not being exploited. I'm loving this and I'm having a great time. Two other quick examples, uh, and these happened kind of hand in hand last weekend, uh, was with Billie Eilish and the race car driver, Lindsey Brewer, kind of happened at the same time. But Billie Eilish, 
who wore clothes notably up until this point bigger than do you guys remember in elementary school that big thing like that 10 thing you would sit in in astronomy class and it would be better than any field trip you could ever imagine yeah she, it would be her clothes are bigger than that is what i'm trying to say her clothes are bigger than that it's like she stole them from bozo the clown and lately she's been showing off more of her feminine body and her curves and her boobs and all these things that she's been hiding right under those window drapes. And she's gotten a lot of flack for it. People being like, this isn't the Billy I know. And it's like, why do you have to hate on her? And she even says, you guys are bozos. Why can't I be both things? I can be both things. Like it's that idea yet again of our society even and probably mostly, you know, the PC social justice warriors trying to box women. It's like, I see. So you're more of a woman who should be respected dressing like a dude, dressing in baggy clothes. So showing off her femininity and finding power, you know, and being empowered in that is not womanly. It's bad. Get a grip. She says the same thing. Why can't I be both? Lindsay Brewer, Brewer race car driver, same thing. In fact, she said that she's gotten flack from fellow female athletes and race car drivers for posing sexily on Instagram with bikinis. And it's not over the top. And also she's gorgeous. Okay. Would totally skin that face and wear that shit. Um, and she says the same thing. Like, sure, I can be in a bikini right here, but guess what? I can also go on the track and be a badass driver, driver and whip out a can of whoop ass on all of your asses. So I love that. And again, you have the other end of it, right? You have like the uppy conservative folk who, God forbid, if you show an elbow, you are Mary Magdalene herself. <laughs> it's like there, there has to be, you know, there's no in between here, which is why I love that these women um, are doing this. So back to where it all started again. I don't know. I don't know why everyone and particularly these older women in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 80s, if you're Martha Stewart, are getting naked. But I will say it sure is it sure is interesting. And I'll say I alluded earlier to the nude photo I posted. I did a nude shoot recently here in Nashville that was so empowering. I was so nervous. And again, by the end, similarly to Playboy, I was like, hear me roar world. I'm coming out and not in that way or not in all the other ways. Right. And I posted a photo in almost like a protest. It had meaning to the Adidas campaign hiring a dude to uh to model women's bikinis because it's like can we respect and cherish and admire women at all anymore it does i, I know this is a talking point but it is it's i i've had it it's like it does feel like women are being erased it's like can't we just glorify women and all that they are. So I posted a nude photo, covered up my boobs and my little PP and said, Hey, Adidas, is this woman enough for you? Because it's like, again, I'm sick of it. You know, please, you know, showcase women in all of their glory. And let's just respect and, 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 and appreciate that. Thank you. And good day. But what's also inspiring about, you know, the older women is that what I said earlier, right? There is with all of them, I feel like such an inspiring, number one, being able to do things later in life is so inspiring. It's like, you know, the back in the day, these people were not in a string bikini in Maui living their best lives. Okay. They were croaking like 34. So the idea of thriving and, and being so vivacious at such later ages, I think is something so inspiring and to, and to aspire to. But again, the idea of really taking care of ourselves. Like one of the criticisms Martha Stewart got in her piece is that she's done all kinds of surgeries and this and that. And she's, she's not, she's like, I played around with Botox and fillers, not a fan, but moreover, she's like, I haven't done anything heavily reconstructive. It's been like green juice. It's been like daily walks, like leave, leave it to Martha. You know, that bitch was doing laps around prison, proceeded to have her green pineapple smoothie on the daily, right? And again, like I said earlier, uh, with Padma Lakshmi, same thing. She's like, I would have loved, I would have dreamed of this in my twenties and thirties when I was an actual model, but here I am in my fifties and it's better now. I can appreciate it so much more, you know, pink, same thing, like has straight up abs, 
is seriously like I would not want to go. I don't agree with her politics and I hope she doesn't get wind of this because I don't always agree with her politics. And I know for a fact, she could probably kick my ass. But that idea of, again, in a time where it's like, nope, accept me exactly as I am. And again, it's like, why can't it be both things? It's like, that's cool. Of course, of course you should feel good and positive and accepted for where you're at. But at the same time, why not strive to achieve your full potential? Look your best, feel your best, you know, really own that power because I'm telling you, there's just absolutely nothing like it. And as you can see with these women who clearly take care of themselves, there is a part of it that, you know, is, I think, really cool and, and gratifying to see from these older women. So I don't know. It's almost like, let's flip the script here. It's like, they say youth is wasted on the young. I feel like IG nudes are wasted on the young.